Welcome to the weekly press briefing of the Kosovo Specialist Chambers, where we aim to provide journalists with an update on the latest developments at the court and the opportunity to ask questions. On 1st of December, 2023, the trial panel in the Thaci et al. case issued a further decision on the prosecution's request for modification of the detention conditions of Hashim Thaci, Kadri Vaseli, and Recep Salimi. The decision replaces the trial panel's interim decision of 17th of November. In its decision, the trial panel found that the three accused appear to have disclosed to visitors confidential information received in the context of the proceedings or elicited during the testimony of protected witnesses. Without making findings about whether the conduct reflected in transcripts of such visits constitutes a criminal offense, the judges noted a substantial risk that the three accused will disclose privileged information to unauthorized third parties unless adequate measures are put in place. Accordingly, the trial panel ordered that a system be put in place by the registry which focuses on identifying and excluding from visits and communications with the three accused, only those individuals who could pose a threat to the integrity of the proceedings or engage in conduct incompatible with the regulations of the detention management unit. Specifically, visits and communications with these three accused by persons other than their defense counsel, the International Committee for the Red Cross, or the KSC ombudsperson will be subject to the prior approval of the registrar so that all relevant legal, practical, and security considerations are taken into account. Among other measures, the trial panel also ordered changes to the conditions of visits. For example, each of the three accused cannot meet with more than one visitor at a time, with the exception of spouses and children. More detail on the measures related to restrictions on the communications and visits of the three accused can be found in paragraphs 51 to 53, 55 to 60, and 62 to 78 of the decision on the KSC website. The trial panel will review the measures every six months and the registrar will report to the trial panel on the implementation of the decision every two months. In two other decisions on 1st of December in the same case, the trial panel granted the prosecution's motion to admit into evidence the written statements of three witnesses and authorized another witness to testify via video conference due to medical issues. On 5th of December, the trial panel partially granted a prosecution request and admitted into evidence certain videos, books, and newspaper articles. During the Thachi et al. trial this week, two witnesses have testified so far. On Monday, 4th of December, Sadiq Halifyaha, who was a former KLA officer, resumed his testimony. Following the conclusion of his testimony on Tuesday, the 38th witness called by the prosecution, Sandra Mitchell, a former OSC official in Kosovo, began her testimony. Trial hearings in this case are scheduled next Monday to Wednesday. The Court of Appeals panel has scheduled the pronouncement of the appeal judgment in the case of Specialist Prosecutor versus Sali Mustafa for next Thursday, 14th of December at 9.30. The hearing will be public and can be followed in Albanian, Serbian, or English through the streaming page of the KSC website with a 10 minute delay, or from the public gallery at the premises of the court. Pre-registration is required to follow this hearing in person in the public gallery at the specialist chambers. After the pronouncement of the appeal judgment on 14th of December, a regular weekly press briefing will be held at 1430. Journalists may attend in the press briefing room or via Zoom. Thank you.